ne pa'ai na mai ve chemo evi in uto aztecan language with a really cool name hello everyone and welcome to the link shack in this video we're going to be talking about the chemo evi variant of the southern paiute or colorado river numic language it also goes by the name uto chemo evi and many other names today the chemo evi language numbers probably a few hundred speakers however its ethnicity has 5,000 people, which means there is plenty of room for language expansion. I cannot find a word list of phrases such as good morning, good night, or how are you. So today we're just going to dive straight into the grammar features of this language. Nouns. There are basic nouns which can have suffixes attached to them and require nothing to be deleted when, atta when attaching suffixes to them. Pa. Water. Tomo. Winter, naga, sheep, kuna, fire. There are several kinds of suffixes known as absolutive suffixes. This works almost as an all-purpose noun suffix, although their original meaning independently is not completely known. This feature is found among uto aztecan languages. This is similar to the t or li suffixes at the end of many nouns in Nahuatl. Some of the most common ones in Chemawevi are punkusi, dogs. Sigipi, si, lizard. Punkun, my dog. Pi, siipi, flower. Kukwapi, stick. Kukwatapokaga, chopping wood. Sinavi, coyote. Mahavi, tree. Hawivi, corn. Hawin, my corn. Umpi, asompi, salt. Niwimpi, liver. In many cases, nouns of new meanings can be added by simply removing the default absolute of suffix like C or V and attaching a new one at the end of the base form. Positions like at, in, from, etc. are added after the noun's end, making these post positions. Ohov, bone. Ohovi wa, with bones. Pukunsi wa, with dog with a dog. Tusup, flower. Tusumpiwant, part of the flower. Tuvip, earth. Tuvipivaan, on the earth or on the ground. Possessives can be attached to nouns. Punkunsi, dogs. Punkun, my dogs. New nouns can be created by attaching one of many derivational suffixes. C although this is different from the absolute of C. Wihi, knife. Wihitsi, small knife. P, this is like for plants. Iyavi, grapes. Iyavin, grapevine. V, for languages. Ayata, Mojave. Ayatav, Mojave language. Haiku, white man. Haiku, the English language. P, this is used for old or unused or abandoned objects. Kani, house. Kanip, abandoned house. Chemoevi has an object position in its syntax, and in a typical sentence, it comes between the subject and the verb, resulting in subject, object, verb, sentence order. Typically, when the noun ends in vowels other than a, the a will get attached to the end. But if it ends in a, then it takes either ya, ya, or more rarely, n, na. Kanya. House, object form. Sape, belly. Sape, belly, object form. Huna, badger. Hunaya, badger, object form. Chemawevi does have a plural of we and me for animate nouns. Reduplications are also used for expressing the plural in Chemawevi. However, this is mainly used for inanimate nouns. There are some there are some nouns that use both we and me and the reduplication forms to express, to express plural. Adding P to the end of verbs turns the verb into a noun derived from the verb. Tika, eat. Tikapi, eating. Pahora, to dig a well. Pahorape, a well. Tinia, to tell or to say. Tiniapi, story or news. Pronouns. 
Pronouns in Chemoevi are relatively complicated, but there are independent forms that can be used. When attaching pronominal forms to the ends of nouns, a different system is used. All pronominal forms have a singular, dual, and a form that attaches to several nouns. In the first person form, like I, me, or we, or us, there is an inclusive, meaning us and me, and exclusive, us without me. Me refers to the person who's speaking at the moment. In the exclusive form, the same inflection is used for both dual and several. Note that the second and the third person pronominal forms use the same forms for the dual and several inflections. The second person form, like you or you all, outside of the singular dual several systems, have a subject and object form. The third person form, like he, she, or they, is even more complex and is by far the most complex of the pronominal forms. This form has two sets, one for animate nouns, nouns that are alive, and another for inanimate nouns, nouns that are not alive, such as a rock or a book. On top of the animate form, there is also the visibility to consider, and for animate and inanimate forms, there is a form for if the noun is right here, and ones for visible and invisible. This is from the viewpoint of the speaker and the hearer. Verbs. Very much like the noun system, verbs are also agglutinative. In Chemoevi, the verbs are usually placed at the end of a sentence or clause. Verbs are constructed by adding suffixes together to convey the tense number or aspect. The tense is usually expressed at the end of the verb. Ni nukui, I am running. Mankania wavo ampi, he covered the house. Pagis tika tiva, the fish will be eaten. Different verb modifiers will lie in different positions around the verb. For example, the causative form tu e goes after the verb's base form but before the time. Man Michaeli kania wavo a tu impi, he made Michael cover the house. But the reflexive form, a verb using self like myself, yourself, etc. goes at the beginning before the verb's base form. Manna, manna wavo ampi, he covered himself. Nina nukui tu in, I am making myself run. The plural form of the verb inflection goes at the very end of the verb structure. John aipasi gaya, nagukui vim, John and the boy shot themselves. Na ma'im nukui vim, they ran together. Adjectives act in nearly the same way as verbs do, and generally, and generally translate to be adjective, such as to be hot, to be cold, etc. If you want to ask a question like, won't you, or isn't it, or something like that, you simply add hina to the end. Huvitu nu hina? Sing, won't you? Iskas hai you are hina? This isn't good, is it? Chemoevi has so much more that we could discuss, but this language is one with tons of complexities. What did you enjoy most about Chemoevi? Did you notice any similarities of some of its features with other Utu Aztec languages? If you speak Chemoevi, can you understand Ute or Northern Paiute? I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you have questions about the topic or want a more in depth discussion, then let me know and I will make that. If you like this video and are interested in more language content, then please subscribe to the Langshack channel. And if you really like this video, then please share this video. Catch us on IG and Twitter at Langshack, and at Facebook at Langshack as well. And visit our website at langshack.org. Thank you all for watching, and catch you in the next video.